And when we asked him, why your prophet, he take an oath. Oh, um, 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 no, the prophet did, did not, did not say that. No. Here it says confirming what is with them. Uh, and, uh, you say, it says is, but for us mean was. <laughs> what a joke. Are you making a mockery of your religion? Allah, he says is, you say was. And then they start reading for you what is supposed in Arabic. And the second you try to speak to them in Arabic, you find that they don't know Arabic. They have nothing to do with Arabic. And then he decided to go and he decided to choose for us chapter 4, verse 171. We went there and we find that there Jesus is God. The same verse saying Jesus is not, don't say Trinity, is the same verse. We can use it to prove that Jesus is God. And actually we can prove, prove another form of Trinity. Jesus is the man. This is chapter 4, verse number 171. He was sent from God. Okay, no problem. Even the Bible says, for God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. That is Jesus. So he was a messenger of the Father. But in order to save, not just to make speeches, for he is God. And he is his word. And this is in total agreement with John chapter 1, verse number 1. In the beginning it was the word, and the word was with God. And the word, that word who came to us is God. That is Jesus. The word of God is the will of God, is the mind of God, is the logos, is the essence, is God. That is Jesus. Muhammad is not the word of God. Nobody is the word of God. And Jesus is a spirit proceeding from him. Do you see the I in G? That is Jesus, my friend. The spirit within Jesus is the spirit of God. Is the spirit of the God of the Muslims is within Muhammad? No. Only with Jesus. So look what happened. The same verse says, say no trinity. The same verse says, well, Jesus is one and three in the same time. This is not the trinity we believe in how stupid this religion is you are trying to create a sentence to the to the to defeat the trinity but you just said you can be three and one at the same time and this is in the case of jesus he is the word of god who became a man and yet he has a spirit proceeding from god in him three in one the same verse says say no trinity and this is a clear evidence that the one who wrote the Quran is a mule. He is a certified mule. He might look big in size, but in fact, he's a chicken as soon as you sit on him. And you will notice that the Muslims, they are desperately trying to avoid talking about their book, even though they knew that this channel is not about the Bible. Do you see anything in the title about the Bible? No. Muslims, they love to talk about amazing Quran, but not with me. Quran is amazing, but not with me. Quran is a joke in front of me, and Muslims cannot answer. Deception is their game. And we are here to teach you so you can teach your children so the deception will not work. Do we have any Muhammadan who is a man who don't jump like a monkey from a place to place? He changed topic in the speed of, a, of, of, a, of his God. Anyone?
anyone somebody talking about the the population my friend who care about population that is a stupid statement if a christianity is the biggest be belief in the earth doesn't make us right who care was jesus wrong when he have only 12 disciples people are silly people are stupid people they say stupid stuff their discussion have nothing to do with the, with the value of the teaching of that belief who cares if there's 10 people believe in it or 10 billion? Either it's true or not. Do we have any Mohammedan? We have a Muslim is saying to me, silly idiot you are. Well, if you have to prove it, I am not the one who said that if a Muslim woman she had sex a thousand times, still she will be a virgin. You tell me who is the idiot. What kind of religion teach its followers that if a Muslim woman and she is single, she had a billion men, I'm trying to take a screenshot, but this page just keep moving. I don't know why. Huh? What kind of a religion teach that you can have sex when you are single and that will not affect your virginity? Or you are still considered virgins in the eyes of Allah. What is what is the why you use that word anyway? Who is the idiot? You had sex with million men, and yet this girl she is virgin. This is God teaching. Are you sure, brother? Interesting. And Allah Azza wa Jal associated zina with shirk and murder, as in Surah Al Furqan. However, However, the punishment differs. So if a person fornicates, this means that he is not married and was not married before. And this is sort of called in Islam as a virgin. So a man or a woman who have not, who has not married in their life, they're considered to be virgins. Even if they committed adultery or fornication many times, still. Do you have any virgin would like to call me? Any virgin? Even if you commit adultery many times, you are a virgin? In which logic, which, which religion is that? What, what, what the word virgin mean for you, Muslims? What does exactly mean? And this is a great example for the Christian too, right? that when the Muslims speak decency, when they say decency, they, they mean something else. When, when a Muslim girl, she said to you, I'm virgin, she means something else. When a Muslim says to you, I'm honest, he means something else. I'm trying to call you. Why you are trying to call me? You are a Muslim woman. I prefer to get a call from a Muslim woman. What did I say? What's the Swedish industry? Hello? 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 Yes, yes. Maria, Maria. Hi, it's a little staticky. A little staticky? Yeah. Right. Are, are you on the same screen? Um, partially. I don't know what that means. Meaning, like, like I have like some belief within like Islam, but there's a lot of truth in in Christianity as well. All right. Well, how do I help you, Maria? Pardon me. I can help you. You're calling me for what reason? 
Well, I called you because I just wanted to understand like the concept of like because you're the topic is like like the kind of like the god of of Islam, right? So it's like all these people are like praying to this god, which is Allah, right? And I just find it hard to like believe like like that they're not praying to God. Like because you know, these people believe that's God, regardless if it's God or not. They they believe that's God, right? And like, yeah. So, like, if God knows your heart, like, aren't these people uh, still given a way to like redemption? Because like, what's in their heart is like true belief of of God. CP, your your um your phone or my phone is very staticky. Can yeah, can no, you ring? I will I will fix that. Uh. Okay, thank you. No, I think it's working fine. Yeah, because um, I find it hard because uh, I know what Jesus um, represents and, and no one can, can destroy Jesus' name at all. Um, everything about Christianity is is good, right? Like there's just a lot of love there. And so like I was Christian before, right? But uh, I had personal struggles with my faith, uh, not because I don't believe in Jesus, but I, I just feel like everyone is supposed to be within a certain religion for a reason. Sometimes I think that way. Um, I'm not sure. I just get a little confused, but okay. yeah, that's kind of my background. You're still very, very staticky. Can, can you call me back? Like ring me again? Okay, thank you. We will try now and see if the sound is better. Yeah, guys, give me a minute. I'm trying. We will see it's, if it's better now. Yeah. Well, I don't know what happened. Suddenly, this microphone went bad. Looked like it's time to replace it. I was trying not to, to buy. Uh, to spend one. Okay. All right, I will try again. Let us see now. Is it still bad? Is it still bad? Good now? Okay. But I don't know what happened. I think, uh, I mean, those mics, you, you know, you spend a lot of money for them, and then they don't even work for a year. 
And actually, there's one of you. He sent me a donation. Uh, you know, he said this is for the mic. I said to him, cancel your donation. You know, there's no need. You know, I think it's going to work. But I think this mic, for some reason, when I speak for many hours, that happened. Hello. Okay, it's clear now. I can hear you. All right, Maria. So you you said you are a, you used to be a Christian and you became a Muslim. Yeah, like I didn't do anything to like become Muslim, but like I, you know, I started reading the the Quran, just learning okay. the religion, okay. and uh, I have a lot of Muslim friends that weren't my friends <laughs> until mm -hmm. I told them that I was like interested in Islam. So, but uh. Is that why you you thought about Islam because you have Muslim friends? No, 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 not at all. I'm just like just like everybody else. Like, I, I just like I just want to connect uh, to God. You know, like. Okay. I just what, want what make, to connect. What make you God. think about Islam? What is the reason like you thought about Islam? I'll be honest. I when I was, um, I'm still you know, okay. Well, when I was like Christian, like. I, I wanted to go back to the roots of like everything. So I was seeking Judaism first okay. and uh, just to understand, right? Like how, how, um, how we came here, the, the, the language of God, like everything authentically. And, and then I, I, I started to consider like whether Islam or, or Judaism is, um, was very curious in my mind just to know about it. But, um, it hasn't been easy. My friend, my Christian friend told me, um, never hold a Quran in, in your hand. Like if you want to read it, just read it online. Don't don't bring the book um, in your home. He used to tell me these things. I used to be very scared. Um, <laughs> I, he used to tell me the Quran was an invocation to, to Satan. I don't know. I, I, but it's a, it's a satanic book for sure. I agree. But you know, I hold, a, I, yeah. I hold the Quran in my hand every day and I defeat the Quran every day. So it's about, you know, it's about how you read and how, what did it say, how much educated you are, how deep we think, how we don't let uh, other people have influence in our thinking, how we can make decision uh, uh, based in understanding, not what they claim. You see, as you see the Muslims, we show them in the front, like you were watching, right? before you yes, call. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. So I showed the Muslim in the front of your eyes. It says confirming what is with them. He says it says is what it mean was. Do you see how they, they lie? I mean, it's in the front of their eyes. In their their own translation, it is it is the translation made by, made by them. So right. it says is, is. Mm -hmm. He say, mm -hmm. well, it mean was. You know? Yeah, so, you can't change the, the meaning. So they are um, not decent when it's coming to the religion. You cannot learn. This is the problem with Islam. You cannot learn uh, Islam from Muslims. And even the translation in front of us is a liar, is a lie too. Yet, can, the top can, of can the I ask you a, a question, CP? Go ahead. Um, thank you. Um, I'm, I'm asking this humbly because I don't know. So there's some stuff in, in um, Islam, like culture-wise, there's a lot of things... I don't even understand it. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I'll be the first to admit it. Like, Muhammad washing with, like, dogs. All these things is just, it's nonsense. And then there's some things that are, like, they make sense. Some of it. Like what? Okay, good question. Like, I feel like um, how, how the, the the devotion, um, the time spent to, to remember to pray to God, um, mm. the covering. I feel like it it does bring some sort of respect, but my my question is like no, no, let, let, let us uh, focus one by one. You see, first okay. the first about the time uh, to to pray. Muhammad is trying to copy other religion and other belief. If you go to right. any Christian monastery, people they have certain time to pray. They ring the bell. Everybody will be in the in the in the church in a time. But those because they are monks. And they control their life a lot easier than somebody who have a life to do. The Islamic prayer, which is made today, trying to copy the Christian monks, is 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 baseless. Why? Uh, first, God, He is there always to listen to you. It doesn't matter what the time is. Do we agree in that? Yes, yeah, that's that's true. Islam does not believe in that. Islam believe even that even the prayer they make five times a day. Have nothing to do with the time Allah will be listening. According to Muhammad, Allah will come every day in the third part of the night. And he will say, who is praying to me? So 
Allah don't even come to listen to them. He don't listen to them when he is. He have to come down uh, uh, every day. And he asks, who is praying to me? Then we ask yeah. ourselves, if God is almighty, he can hear me wherever he is, right? And wherever yeah. I am, right? True, true. Okay. Well, Jesus I, said, I when want... you pray, yes. go to your closet and close your you know, closet and pray. Don't be like the hypocrite who want to show. So Islam is trying, Islam is, Muhammad, he said, actually even the Quran said, that mm -hmm. the reason they face one direction is just to show that we are Muslims. To show that they are Muslims. Muhammad was trying to find a direction to pray. To and then, Maka, you mean? Like no, first, uh, first of all, you know, after he aroused himself to be a messenger, he moved to the Jewish area. Suddenly he stopped praying to Jerusalem. Right. And then what happened if Jerusalem is the is a is a holy city? What happened to Mecca? Allah forget about Mecca at that time. And then uh, uh, Muhammad, he did not know what to do now. The Jews refused him. The Christian did not accept him. And now he is looking for a different direction. So look, he made a verse in the Quran saying, we certainly see that you are turning your face about into the sky. We surely, we surely turn you into the Qibla. So suddenly the direction of a prayer changed. And this is telling you that the true God will not do that. If this is the, if this is the direction from the beginning of the time, this is, should be the always direction for the beginning of, beginning of the time. There's no first holy place, second holy place, third holy place. Holy place is a holy place. So he changed direction. Now we go to the what? The devotion of covering yourself. Right. You say it? Well, women in Islam are covered not because of, 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 of dignity, because they are a property, because they are under the control, not because they're choosing to do so. Otherwise, it oh. should be a choice. CP, may I ask you something on, on this um, part? Like, because the Quran, the Bible, everything was written so, so old, so ancient, right? Like, and mm. even the English, it's, it can't be understood like the way it was understood today. Do you think like, maybe the inter interpretation was incorrect as in like, I don't have to cover my face and we're all black, but more it was trying to say like, we shouldn't expose our, ourselves like sexually, more like the meaning was more to say like, you know, just be respectful okay. of your body maybe. I will, I will go with this. You see in Christianity, actually it teaches there's many verses in the Bible speak about wearing modesty clothes and to be modest. Right. So nowhere in the Bible it says women, they can go and uh, uh, wear a bikini and walk in the street or wear a short skirt is two inch. This is not a Christian uh, clothes and have nothing to do with, the, uh, with, the, with the Christianity. People, they do things and most of them, they do the same. Actually, you go to Islamic countries, prostitution, belly dancing, belly dancing, they are naked. Number one country in the world, the belly dancing is, is Egypt. Right. Egypt. And they are wearing nothing, almost not nothing. And the Muslim did not get offended. So this is, not, I cannot say now, well, the belly dancing is approved in the Quran. I can't say that because the Quran did not say you do belly dancing, but they do it. So I can't judge Islam by the belly dancing, no. But it's yeah. a hypocrite of them to judge Christianity by saying, oh, look, this is a Christian person. Oh, look, this is a Christian person. We can do the same. But however, modesty is not about clothes only. Modesty is about modesty. As we just heard the Sheikh, he was saying a Muslim girl, even if, even if she stepped with a thousand guy, she is a virgin. What is the modesty? Secondly, Women, she wear a burqa, and then the woman is allowed to give her breast to a stranger. Even Allah, he sent down versus that women, they can give their breast to a stranger. And supposedly that will make her lawful to be around this person. So See, how that CP, can be? It can, can be. be and, and you're right. Sometimes um, when I read the Quran, I feel like, and this is just a completely uh, <laughs> opinion of my own. It's, it might not no make problem. sense to anybody. But um, I feel like Muhammad was was not, um, and no disrespect to Muslims, you know, but like he wasn't a good vessel for, for God. Because sometimes I think there was parts where God was speaking to Muhammad and then there's other parts that Satan possessed Muhammad. So everything that doesn't make sense in the Quran, I don't, obviously I don't think that's of God. Even your heart my, knows that's my, not of God. My young sister, listen carefully. Yes, sir. If somebody, if somebody want to kill somebody, where he put the poison? In his heart? No, I mean, if you want to kill him physically, the poison, we have poison. Oh, right, right. He put it where? He put it in the food he eat, right? The best food he eat. Right, right. Okay. So th this God is satanic. And in order to, to make you swallow the poison, 
he will not tell you uh, he will not give you uh, a dish is full of poop he will give you a dish have some food in it so you put your mouth there yeah so he is because you cannot be with god and against god in the same time either you are decent or you are not decent either you are truthful or you are a liar you can't be both so muhammad obviously he don't even respect his followers when he said that his god sent him verses uh, that women she can give her breast to a stranger and she have to suck it ten different time if you read the story behind that you will see that obviously muhammad is making fun of the muslims a woman she came to him she said my husband is jealous because of a person who is a grow, you know he grow in our house and he is a, a, a grown man uh, he's a slave uh, what we will do he said give him your breast you know give him your breast yeah and he yeah. and even the hadith says hatta he did laugh until his you no know, his teeth you know those teeth like the 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 what they call them the one for like the um, uh, the one the, the sharp teeth like the one the cats like have Dracula? or the dogs yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know yeah those, those for black and Dracula. until those things yeah. came out this is how was, he was laughing so so he was laughing but but he is talking about something very serious this is religion so he created he created a uh, base on on in, uh, in mockery you know he's making mockery of this woman give him here your breast and he is laughing and then we find that muhammad he claimed that his god he gave him 10 verses uh, sorry verses saying that the women she have to give her breast to a stranger and he have to suck it you know 10 different days different different times until she is satisfied or he's satisfied so if here you, you ask yourself you, you just said sometime god speak to him sometime he's he's, he's possessed i say he is all the time possessed possessed okay. because this is not an answer of a person he is not possessed so where is the decency where is the where is the conservative muhammad who you know he want to make women uh, wear hijab so secondly if you ask ourselves why even muslim women they wear hijab it was because of Omar. Omar is the one who made the hijab come to existence. Omar, he was a spying at Sauda, the wife of Muhammad, when she was doing poo-poo. And when she was doing poo-poo, he said, Arif naki ya Sauda, we recognize you, Sauda, and the hate in front of us on the screen. And then after he laughed at her and he was looking at her bum when she was doing poo-poo, and look how filthy. This is, imagine, God, you know, forgive me for saying that. Yeah. Imagine a disciple of Jesus looking at his brother wife during the mm -hmm. time she is doing poo, poo and he said to her hey we recognize you Sauda. this is your butt allahu akbar you know like, what the heck <laughs> but this is acceptable for muslims because muhammad is a savage his companion like him what a trashy group what kind of what a, what kind of companion you go to the wife of the, this is the wife of the guy he is a prophet so he is there a prophet she is doing poo poo and he said to her we recognize you so that and then he go to muhammad he says uh hey prophet order your women to cover themselves but the women she went out at night and she was no. doing poo poo she was not doing anything wrong i mean at that time people they go out and you know they, they don't have like now we have houses we have bathroom we have restroom we close our door you know so she CP, was... I'm sorry to cut you off, but okay. So why, you know, we're all God's children, right? Why, why is God leaving so many people? You know, it's just so many people, right? There's so many Muslims, and like, what's gonna happen to Muslims, right? Because if uh, you know, my my young sister, again, God did not leave them. Here we go. God is using me, and using many others. To tell them yeah. the truth we write books we make videos we have yeah. disciple of jesus who came two thousand years ago and they paid their life for everybody including jesus himself so god never left them they left god and if yeah. you leave god if you leave god it's not the fault of god it's your fault yeah and you but, know yeah. i i want to i want to i want to ask you still uh, do you think really islam have any kind of decency any kind of devotion, where is the devotion? Even when they go to do jihad, they kill just to get virgins and sex. They don't have even devotion to God, they have devotion to their private part. I, as people, like, they're very uh, isolated from, from society. <laughs> um, and individually, 
not all of them, but some of them, like as people, I don't know, I see some some discipline, and then the rest of them I see very um, angry, very fast to anger, um, always kind of yeah. trying to steal oh. people's heart, but but very angry. I don't know how to explain. They have this character. The, the, the evil, the evil inside you, if you have evil inside you, make you always yeah. aggressive, you know, the aggression. You see, Jesus' yeah. disciples, they were used to offer them to leave the faith, leave the faith, or we will give you to the lion to eat you. Just for fun. That's what the Roman used to do. And the Christians, they did not kill the Roman. They did not carry sword and start killing the Roman because they are discriminating them, killing them. No. Still, they keep in their faith. They never killed the Roman soldiers. They never raised war on them. Even though their number was growing so fast, and the Roman were killing them and just use, use them just for fun. You know, they gather rich Roman leaders, they gather and they bring some Christians and they open the lion and the, uh, the lion he eat the Christian and they enjoy the scenery of a, of, of a poor Christian being eaten alive. And all what they asked them for, just deny Jesus. And here you need to ask yourself, when somebody says to you, like this Abdul who called me to prove to me that the Bible is changed, why in the world those people who give their life to the lion, they want to follow in a book, they themselves, they changed. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. I mean, what and, kind of... and you know, the Jesus yeah, is, uh, I, you know, he's, he's, he's real. You know, I know. Um, I, I feel in your voice, you are nervous, you are excited. And I feel that you want to accept Jesus. And I say to you, my, my young sister, I, you know, allow me to call you. I can tell you are way younger than me. I am like 200 years old, ancient from the museum. So <laughs> no, I'm not that young. I'm, I'm not, I'm, ner I'm not nervous. I'm, I feel, uh, excited. I, uh, no, I'm not excited. I wish I, <laughs> I abandoned Jesus, you know, so I have guilt. I have well, my, guilt, my, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. You know, but when, the reason was are... um, a lot of people were were, I you know, they were receiving uh, the Holy Spirit and um, I I believed in Jesus before I knew about Jesus like meaning uh, he came to me I, I didn't seek him you know I just I had this belief as a when I was young I used to I just knew you know because I used to call his name every time I was afraid. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I had a connection with him. But when I grew up, you know, God says, be childlike, you know, in prayer. Uh, so I used to be like that. So it was easy to connect to God. But when I grew up, I start to, you know, want to connect with him like more. And I prayed for for years. <laughs> and I understand everything happens according to God and God's time. So I was patient. You know, I didn't rush, push myself, but. I seen, you know, I'm not trying to compare myself to people, but I have to for the sake of argument. You know, I would see people go on the street and and receive Holy Spirit instantly. They didn't ask for it, or maybe they needed it more. I'm not sure how how God uh, chooses, and that's fine. But I was jealous, you know, because I I really wanted to receive Holy Spirit, and I and I thought nothing I do is going to be good enough for for the grace of God for of Jesus because He's so full of grace. And uh, so I gave up because I felt like maybe I'm not good enough for Jesus, you know, because Jesus is so perfect. Like, but, um, but you know, Maryam, as long as we understand that Jesus is so perfect, he's amazing. We know we understand the Holy Spirit and the power of this spirit. But why? Why in the world we want to uh, think of Islam for a second? Because I, I used to hear people compare um, not the, the culture or sorry, not the belief, but um, God, they used to compare. Um, like, I know I have a lot of Jewish, Jewish friends. They used to compare uh, the God of, uh, of Islam and Jews as one, you know, and at that time I told you I was seeking Judaism first mm. because when I read the Old Testament, just for argument's sake, you know, I, I know Christians <laughs> say Jesus is God, but obviously Jews don't believe that. and. Um, I used no, to think, you know, this, the Old this Testament... Is, this, is a, this is a mistake, by yes. the way, because the majority of the Jews already they believe that Jesus is God. What we have now is the minority. 
you know, did you really think that the Jews after 2000 years or thousand of years, they are only 20 million? No. What happened? The majority of them, they became Christians. Yes, and, and, and I'm only saying just just yeah. to get I to the point. I understand. I understand. I'm yeah, not understand. agreeing with it. Yeah. yeah. So because of that, I used to look like so. Now let's just for argument pretend for just one minute. Out of all respect, Jesus is the Son of God, and and God is God, right? Let's just pretend like what twenty percent Jews believe or whatever. And so I would read the Old Testament, and I would say, wow, you know, the Old Testament is is not so kind. You know, it's there's a lot of things happening in the Old Testament. And then you come to the New Testament and you're like, wow, full of grace. What what a graceful Bible, you know, like what a graceful time with Jesus. But the Old Testament, I used to, I don't know, I used to resonate with it, just the Old Testament more because there was, you know, I liked the aggressiveness of the Old Testament because there was justice. I feel like there was more justice in the Old Testament. I really resonated with Moses. I, I just love all the stories, right? And so that's why I turned to look to Judaism and then and then Islam, because they used to say it was the same God. I said, OK, either either one, um, maybe Islam would be easier than Judaism. Judaism is not very easy to convert to Judaism here. You know, it's very difficult. So but do you think that G Jesus was very peaceful and you like more the Old Testament to be more tough? Not because it's so tough, but I felt like. I, f I, I felt like it made so much more sense because, you know, a lot of Jews, they, they just, the Torah itself is like, there's no New Testament, right? So it just made sense because it felt like pol polarity, is it the word? Like it showed both sides to everything, you know, mm. it, but the New Testament is always like, oh, turn your head to this side and turn. And then I'm like, okay, I yeah, want but, to. Know, but, this is, I, but this is a wrong understanding. You see, when Jesus said, yeah. uh, when, if somebody hit you in your cheek, give him the other cheek. He is not saying that somebody can come to your house and he can rape you and okay tell him do more i'm christian no this is what yeah. jesus said jesus said you, you know don't fight evil by evil which means don't be don't do evil as they do but in the same time jesus said the one who don't have a sword go and buy one but the sword is not to go and kill people with it but to protect right. and even when you protect but it's not time for you to protect like when the roman soldiers they came to jesus to arrest him Peter, he took his sword and he cut the ear of the soldier and almost he killed him. Jesus put the back the ear of the of the soldier and, you know, obviously because the soldier is just doing his duty. It's like he's a policeman, you know? He's not, yeah. he's not doing what he is doing because he's evil. He is just doing orders, right? So right. Right. Jesus was teaching us to be civil, not to do evil, and not to fight evil by evil because that would make two evil. In the sure. Old Testament, in the Old Testament, uh, because the Old Testament was the law of the king, which means uh, Moses is a prophet, but Moses is a king in the same time, even though they did not name him as a king, but he is their uh, a ruler. So, prophet and king, word of God is used as a law to rule the, the nation. And when Jesus came, yeah. neither the Jews neither any uh, you know they are under occupation of the roman so the one who rule is the rule of the roman the roman they give some space to the jews to practice their belief but they are not the one who is ruling over everybody by the law of moses so jesus he came in a time and actually i believe he came in a in a in a, in a time where he it is, is it is best to come and he can he said to them it's time for us to uh, to to move for different stage as an example when a woman she committed adultery uh, Jesus he did not stone her correct yeah that's true okay, but yeah. the sto the stoning is in the Old Testament so what the problem the problem is that now the stoning became an act of hypocrisy uh, they got the women but they don't get the guy you know but may I ask you so if and, if, yes, if, and I love and if Jesus Jesus is God of the Old Testament because Jesus was always there, right? So, and yeah. he's the God of the New Testament. Right. So, is it Jesus that changed the law according to the time? No, like, he said, I, he said, I came to okay. complete, not to destroy. You know, right. uh, you know, the, the the law is a is a is a is a process of uh, of building. As an example, when God created Adam and Eve, and then they have right. the children. The children they married their sister, right? Yeah. 
So it's not right to say, don't marry your sister. So they will marry who? So every law have a time. And God okay. is not a changing. God is not changing. But just, thing is, okay. Yeah, yeah but, uh, but a human being is going forward in, in, in life. Uh, population number change, life change, uh, circumstances change. So when God, he, when, when the Messiah came, uh, he said, I am not here to destroy, I'm here to complete. Which means, what I'm going to do now is a complete for what I did before. So okay. when the Jews, they used to stone women, uh, or, or on men for doing adultery, uh, they they have the one who is qualified to judge. When Jesus came, they don't. They are a hypocrite. That's why he said to them, "You are the kind of people who you swallow, you know, the the camel, <laughs> the yeah. whole camel you swallow it. You don't see it in, yeah. in your cup. If it's if a camel fell in your cup, you don't see it. But if little thing fell in the cup of your friend, oh, you you what you have. So they are a hypocrite." And they are not really following the law. And the proof of that actually, what they did with Jesus, Jesus commit no crime. He did not kill anyone. He did not steal. He did not uh, fornicate. He did not uh, do anything. So what was his crime? The crime is that he is a person taking the attention from the rabbi and nobody will listen to them. When they saw thousands of people coming to listen to Jesus and many of them accept him as the Lord, then the rabbi right. they felt the threat. They are under the threat of the Messiah and they don't want him to be around. And, you know, we have to get rid of him. And even the ruler, he says, I don't know what, why I'm going to kill this person. I wash my hand from him. Right? And then the crowd shout saying, his, his, you know, his blood in our hand and our children after us. So, uh, so Jesus did not come uh, with the new. He come with the complete. And you said, uh, sorry, you didn't say, but I've heard you talk about it before, or somebody talked about it when he, um, when Jesus was um, being crucified. When he is he is he quoting the Psalms to fulfill prophecy? I, I don't understand. Yeah, because they like, speak about him. That's why it says completed. You know, like it's the mission, the prophecies, everything said about him is completed. You know. Okay. Uh, he is just, okay. you know, he's reminding them about what is said about him. And now it is complete. Whatever, everything you were waiting for is done, is happening now as we speak. But you will notice here that Jesus who taught us to be loving, it's easy to talk about love, right? I mean, I can give you a speech about love, how to be nice, how to uh, forgive. But the second you touch my eye, I might kill you, right? That's what people do. Right. They make speeches yeah. about how, you know, but Jesus in the cross, he proved to us again that he is the Messiah. He says, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. And here you ask yourself, what kind of a human being that will, if he is a human being like us, he will forgive people in the cross. It's not, they're not just killing him. I mean, this is a cross. It's, it yeah. is literally a torture. Nails in his hands, in his feet, spear in his, in his chest. Uh, 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 they made him dr drink, uh, uh, you know, something uh, uh, ugly. Uh, they, they, they put in his head what, what nobody would like to have. They made fun of him, you know. Uh, why why he want to say, forgive him, Father, what, for what they, what they are doing? They don't know what they are doing, you know. So Jesus, even when he is across, he is thinking about them. This is how much he loved them. And this is why what makes Jesus unique is his love. His love, which was not a speech only, but it was a practice and a speech because I can speak about love from now until tomorrow the second you hurt me I might shoot you I might get angry from you I might call your names I might lose my patient I hang up on people on and speaking to me and I lose my patient and he did not kill me he did not touch, touch me right yeah. yeah I don't even see the person but I cannot be like Jesus I cannot I don't know how he can do it I mean how in the world you are in the cross and then you you are worried now about them thinking about them, say, Father, forgive them. And not only he did that, asking the Father to forgive them, by saying such a statement, no Christian can go and say, we want to wage war against the Jews because you killed Jesus, because Jesus on the cross, he forgive them. So, uh, back to Muhammad. I know you have right? to go, I know you have callers, and uh, I don't want to make your life too long, but... No, 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 he... I want to help you, I want to help you. So... He... Tell me what you want to say. I, I, I wanna, I'm trying to help you to come back to Christ. 
you're course. helping. I'm not someone who takes um, people's words uh, lightly. This will resonate for a long time. So, um, thank so do you. you. Think, do you but, think Muhammad is a prophet, really? No, I don't think Muhammad. <laughs> I I know Muhammad is is not a prophet, and even if he were, was to be, he obviously didn't succeed. And that's why I asked you before the first question: Was it possible? Maybe he he would have been a prophet, but the devil, as usual, his perfect in was to possess him and to dilute everybody and confuse confuse him. And that's why I used to think sometimes was like because i know we all know he got possessed but was was god trying to speak to muhammad like and that's why he died so brutally because he he did everything um according to satan instead of god that that's what i used to think no, this, about is not, uh, this is not a reason to believe he is not from god because he died in a in a in a tough way but there is other yeah. way to prove it you know if you remember muhammad he said in the quran that if he is lying allah will cut his artery yeah. yeah. So when Muhammad he said that he never thought that this is the way how he will die. So Muhammad yeah. he 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 wanted to uh, he exaggerate and he made a statement and uh, claiming that it's coming from his God and then we find that this is exactly how he died. So it sounds like you know as I understand it that our God the true God he is the one who made Muhammad end in such a way. So he will prove to us. That he is a liar. He's a liar. Okay. Yes. That like if I say understand. to you, if I am lying to you, and, and I, I mention death, which is weird, like cut my artery, you know, it's, it's not like I did not say cut my neck. I didn't say cut my hand. Um, uh, yeah. You know, I said the artery. And then he mentioned it by his own mouth. You see, Muhammad, he died by poison, right? Right. But when he mentioned it, he mentioned the exact word. It is in the Quran. So I believe that the one who made this happen is not Allah. Allah does not exist. He says, you know, this is satanic God. Satan is exist. But Adam, Muhammad, he just adopted a name of God exists before Islam. And he, you know, he carry on with it as a, for propaganda and, uh, and the agenda of sat a satanic agenda. But when he mentioned this, and this is what happened to him, this is was additional confirmed that Muhammad, not only satanic, but even his Satan could not help him to avoid to be exposed. And as you see, everything he said is a joke. I mean, we are laughing at it. The sun set so, in murky water. The sun, uh, uh, set, the, the sun rise. Uh, he found the rising place of the sun. Uh, the, the the baby created from a sperm. The sperm became a congealed blood. You know. No. This guy, that yeah. This, this guy he decided to, to to become a doctor. No, he don't want to be a prophet no more. He became a doctor. You know. Yeah. So he's jumping yeah, like a monkey from a place to place. So I want to ask you, Maria. So do you accept the Messiah as your as your savior? Like I said, I yeah, I I want to. I just I just don't I don't want to be in um, because I have faith, right? And it's not hard for me to have to have faith because I had it for so long. But there's something missing, and it can be on my own, you know, sins. I'm not sure, but I'm not perfect. But I, I don't have that that connection with 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 Jesus the way other people. And I'm talking about Holy Spirit, you know. Like, let, 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 me, let me tell you. I am a person who used to go in the street. If I see two people fight, I jump in the fight. I don't know what they are fighting. I jump in the fight. You know, I have no idea what they are fighting. I don't even know the first one. I don't know the second one. I see a fight. Yeah. I jump in the fight. Okay. And then after the fight is finished, I take side one of them. Like the one I see him short or he don't have support, enough support. I take one side. Then after we finish the fight, he said to me, do I know you? I said, no. Do you, do you not have to? You know? So, uh, so I wasn't, you know, uh, uh, you know, we go through life in journey and uh, to say I was connected with Jesus, I was connected always with my gun, not with Jesus, you know. The, the thing I carry with yeah. me wherever I go is my gun. I don't take Jesus with me. So what happened? I still have my gun with me. Nothing changed, really, you know, when it's come to, uh, to, uh, to a weapon. But uh, I never use right. my gun to kill people. I never uh, try to be evil. And... Uh, uh, the more the more you struggle the more you struggle the more you find that uh, jesus is your refuge so when you say i am not connected uh, i i believe this is not really true i believe you are you need something warmer in the relationship with him but you do not know how to accomplish this 
and I can tell you how to accomplish it. Very easy. Serve. Help. Serve. You know, serve, serve people around you. Serve an old woman. She need help. You know, you will find yourself getting close to Jesus. Jesus said, "When I was hungry, you fed me. When I was thirsty, you gave me drink." When I was a stranger, you took me in. When I was a prisoner, you visited me. They said to him, Lord, when we did that to you? He said, when you did that to my brother. So you get close to Jesus more when you understand the love of Jesus. The more I, love I serve you... like my mom, you know, my mom's elderly, uh, my whole exactly. life. Okay. You know? Wonderful, um, wonderful. That will make you get yeah. getting closer to Jesus. And then you will find that you are with Jesus and Jesus is within you. You know, don't look for Jesus outside. Look for Jesus inside you. He is there. Inside. He is God. He says, "Everyone, no, everyone, not any, not, 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 nothing special. This is not for the saint. This is not for the bishop or priest. Anyone. It doesn't matter who. Knock and Christian, I will answer." Prince, um, I wanted to tell you because you know people talk from experience. Like the f the first time I opened the Quran, I I read like not even paragraph. You know, it was very late. And I didn't know, some people say, don't read the Quran on your bed or, I don't know, there's all these rules, but I didn't know. And I was just reading it, one paragraph, and I I went to sleep, you know, but I was still awake. I was trying to close my eyes and um, <laughs> I started to get like, I seen visions, you know, like my mind was just uncontrollable, never happened to me before. I started to see um, the World Trade Center I just seen people just jumping like I wasn't sleeping, you know, like it just I couldn't control my head and I got very scared and I yeah, Satan, I remember you know, this, my this is Satan, he jumped in your head, you know. You open yeah, the door and I Satan remember my come. friend when he told me, you know, be careful, don't don't read the book. Don't hold the book, just read the book because at that time I was still vulnerable, you know, about Jesus. So yeah. I again I <laughs> just prayed to Jesus um at that time and I never, you know, opened it again because I, it never happened before and to see the trade center it was very weird i saw people jumping and i felt like something was just it was very scary and i that's why i called you because and i asked you is the quran even safe to to, re, to well, it read it might be it? not safe for some people you know for me uh, the quran cannot affect me the, I, I affect the quran the quran will never affect me because i'm strong with my faith you're very strong and, yeah. Yeah. and i i conquer the quran and i conquer the one who wrote the quran or not because of me being smart, but because I have the Lord is with me. And the Bible says, if the Lord is with you, who could be against you? And I always remember, anyone who teach evil, he is evil. Doesn't matter who is he, you know. The Lord, he says, from their fruits, you shall know them. Sure. So if anyone, he come to you and he says, I am a prophet. Anyone, he come to you, oh, read this book. Yeah. This book is from good about God. But first, the first thing you need to ask yourself, the fruit. If Muhammad, the fruit was good, well, no, fruit, good fruit will give, you know, but he never gave good fruits. He is an evil man. So why I want to replace the, 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 the one who is a fruit is amazing with the one who is a fruit is ugly and scary and disgusting, a child molester. So I say, uh, even if you don't feel so much connected right now in your heart to Christ, I believe that you should accept him. If you have, if you believe he is, he is, he is the one you are waiting for. Even if you are saying you don't have the connection, the strong connection, but I believe how we can connect if we don't open our heart for him. You know, he said, knock at my door, I will open for you. You have to open the handle, you know, knock at the door. You have to step. Yeah, I will. I will. Um, um, I will definitely uh, uh, pray to Jesus because um, uh, you can, I I can't deny him. You know, I don't know. Like my family, very blessed, or they're, they're all Christian, and they. Um, <laughs> I think like uh, some people are just uh, they have a gift, and some people, everybody's no, gifted. Have, but I feel like no, I think uh, you are gifted. I think you are gifted, but you are you went through a trial in your life. And all of us, we go through those things. Sometimes you say to yourself, maybe the atheists are right. You know, you start thinking like an atheist, but then you find this is stupid, you know? So we go through trial and, and Satan, he try us. It's normal. It's not, it's not something strange happened to you. But uh, at the end of the day, as long as you have your comfort with Jesus. So we go back to Jesus. And uh, we don't wait and say, 
um, oh, I need to feel more strong uh, because you will not get strong unless you bring him to your life. He is the one who will give you strength. Strength is not coming from inside you. It's coming from so him. You said just pray and uh, do good for the elderly. Pray, I, I said to you, the act will yeah. bring you closer to Jesus, but not the act itself, you know. The act of yeah. Jesus will bring you close to Jesus. The act of Jesus is to be loving, giving, forgiving, merciful. That will make you more close to understand Jesus. Okay. It's not It's not just Jesus is not that. But this is the way to get closer to him. And that will make you uh, more clean, let us say. You know, like uh, when somebody, like the Muslim, they, they claim they have fasting, but in fact, they eat more. But fasting in Christianity is not just fasting from food. It's just to control your spirit, control yourself from doing what is wrong. So can I fast from lying? Can I fast from uh, immoral stuff, not good stuff? Can I fast from uh, uh, gossiping? Can I fast from blah, 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 whatever uh, bad things? I, so so I, fasting... I can do all, all these things. I'm, I'm good. Um, my only problem, uh, I have one weakness, it's, is... Uh, my tongue, you know, like when anything is like an unjust, um, I'm very quick to be angry when something's unjust. You know, I always nobody speak said, up. <laughs> nobody said that if you are angry, you are not being a good Christian. It's the opposite, actually. An angry Christian is a good Christian because if nothing make you move, that's mean you don't have God inside you and you don't believe in God. When you see something unjust, Christian person should should go against it. Who said that this is bad? But uh, anger should not be, uh, uh, you know, like uh, for something not right. Like you don't get angry because somebody is nicer or good, better looking Never. than you, you know. No. Uh, yeah, you get angry because a child is being abused or even an animal being abused, you know, or something yes. and not right happening. That is not, that's not a problem and this is, doesn't make you bad. So uh, my sister, I don't know what to say. I can, I will pray to the Lord that he will... Uh, it will come to your life. I wish, I, I wish that before you leave, you say I accept the Messiah from your heart. But for sure, this is something you choose. I cannot ask you to do more. But I hope yeah. that you will go and uh, go in peace. And uh, soon, maybe now, maybe five minutes from now, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. You will come back to Jesus and you accept him. And you will never let a satanic demonic cult like Islam can play with your mind for a second in the future. Yes, thank you, uh, uh, CP and, and everybody. And um, yeah, I do accept the Messiah. Um, I mean to that. I, hallelujah. We, we pray for you. Yeah, thank uh, you. Um, I ask for, all the Christians here. For helping here. me and being patient. And um, I know you were sick last week or so. I'm not sure. I hope you're feeling better. No, the sickness is sick of me. I don't get sick, actually. You know, I don't, <laughs> That's I, good. I, <laughs> I, sometimes, I, so, sometimes I feel jealous from myself. I want to get sick. I take a break, you know, but I, I get sick for five minutes. And then after that, nothing happened to me. I said, like, what? I was going to die. What happened? But uh, disappointing, okay. you know? Look like the Lord. Yeah, didn't the world needs yet. you healthy. So I'm, I'm glad you're okay. Well, he, the Lord do not need us. You know, you see, you have always to choose your world carefully. The Lord do not need anyone. No, I said the world. The world, ah, no, the world don't, don't need me. I am nobody. No, the world need Jesus, and He is the only one who can save them. We are here to serve Him, and the Lord He says that the one who can serve, He can be a master. So the servant, you need to learn first how to be a. Uh, in order to be a master, he have to be a servant, and this is how you know servant. Jesus. Well, Maryam, I'm so happy for you that you accepted the Messiah as your Lord, as Savior, and I want you today. I want you today to go before you sleep. This is just yeah. from me, a request. Uh, if you like to do it, go to John, uh, 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 1 John, 1 John, John. chapter okay. number 1. And do you want me to go now or before I sleep on my own? If you like to read for us, that would be wonderful. You want to do it? Um, sure. Okay, why not? One moment. <laughs> I didn't want to get my Bible. Actually, actually, let us, let us read, let us, uh, let's read uh, 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 John. Um, uh, hold on, let us see. 
I'm just trying to choose for you a, a, a topic which is uh, fit with, I mean, uh, versus fit with our, our experience today. Okay. Uh, let's see. If you go to chapter, yeah, first John, but go to chapter four. First John four. Okay. Okay. All right. Can you read for us? Uh, is it Jesus and the Samaritan woman? You read, read just read from verse, not the verse, not the chapter number four. Which, uh, first John, first John, not John. John, first John, four. First John, which means one, John, number four. If you want, I can give you the link. You open it from there. Let me, open, let, me let me give you the link so we can read the same thing in the same time. I will give you the link in the. You can uh, put it on the screen. I'm still in, watching in, here. In Skype, I, I send it to you in Skype, and I will put it in the screen. Uh, let me put it in the screen. You can open the link from your side. Okay. Go ahead. Read for us. <clears throat> Hang on, CP. I'm, you said I'm young, but I'm not, and I'm not tech savvy. Let me get it. <laughs> okay, I got it now. Okay, here we go, guys. Um, first John chapter 4. Uh, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Every spirit that confess, confesseth the, that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God and every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not God and this is that spirit of Antichrist who uh, whereof ye have heard that it should come and even now already is in in the world ye are of God little children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world. Therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of, of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. In this I, I, was I manifest. Want to, I want to stop you here, my, my sister yes. Mar Maria. Do you see how yes. beautiful this is? Is it's so pretty? I mean, it's so poetic. It's very nice. It is I was so... not even here anymore. <laughs> that exactly. was very nice. Exactly. Very and this nice. was and this is what I want you today to read before you sleep. Because, you know, this is the opposite of what the Quran you hold in your hand. It makes you see death and dead people and crimes and killing. This is will make you fly to a different world. You know? Let us love one another. For love is God. How amazing that is. That's very um, pure. And it speaks to the heart. Uh, thank you, CP. This is not just to speak to the heart. This is amazing. This is astonishing. God is yeah. not someone just need, you know, we do not, God did not create us because he need worshippers. He do not need. God is love. He love us. And he want people to love one another. Anyone who don't teach such a spirit, he is not from God. Islam is evil. Islam based on killing and, uh, and hatred and the threat and terrorism. So God who is love, I pray to him to be today in your heart and he will take your hand to sleep so you can sleep between his hands and you'll be comfortable for the rest of your life. He will keep you strong. He will keep Amen. you healthy. He will keep you protected from anyone, any spirit, evil spirit, Amen. who don't confess that Jesus is a Christ and he is the son of the Lord, the son of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ 
came in the flesh of God. That is the spirit. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Every spirit that confess that Jesus is Christ. Anyone who don't do that, he is not from God. So the Bible did not leave us alone, our sister. But we did leave the Bible alone. And that's why we can be deceived sometime. So let us stay with this book. For this book is our armor. And this book is our protection. And this is the book who will teach me how to live happy and how to die happy. Because there's many people, they fear death. But with the Christ, we die happy. For our death is the death of love. And the one who loves us, he promised us that we will be with him. Everyone who believe in me and die will live. That is the promise. And I can, I can assure you that this is not a word of a man written as a poet, as you, know, you, you might think. But this is the word of God inspiring us to see love, yeah. to live love, to be with love. Or if the love with us, who could be against us? Hatred? No. So I can change right now the sentence where it says, if God is with me, who could be against me? I can change it and say, if love is with me, who could be against me? For God is love. I understand. Okay. Well, thank you, Mariam. Do you want to say anything? Thank I'm happy for you that you accept Christ today and you are being saved. Do you want to say anything thank to people you. who are listening? Um, yeah, I mean, just thanks to everyone for being here and just, um, I can't see the comments, but, uh, um, I just appreciate you and, um, every, you want to give any Christian. advice, any I advice, you... an advice for the young girls or girls who they are around? Yeah. For all the uh, Muslims, like just, just be careful because if, if any, um, like I said, everything comes from experience and <laughs> maybe some Muslims or some christians who are curious in islam they're, they're just curious you know but maybe you're very weak um it's the perfect move for the devil uh, the devil's very real because um he looks for weak people right and <laughs> i was very weak at the time i was reading the quran um yeah. it's not a joke it's very serious um i i mean just be careful what you read um what you think you believe because it can um, i was lucky yeah, don't welcome the evil spirit in your heart. Yeah, your because house. I saw your channel between the time like when this happened. So it's not a coincidence, you know. Uh, Jesus is good. I still had him in my heart, and he he brought me back. So um, I mean to just that. be careful. And he is the one who brought you back. Yes, he is. He is. He is the one yeah. who can save you. And be careful always to stay with him. And I want you yes. today. You see, I stop you here, but I want you today to read these verses again, the whole chapter. Okay. And maybe later you can leave a comment and tell us what you thought or what you felt and how you slept after reading this chapter. And I invite all the Christians, actually. If you are angry in your life, if you are unhappy with your wife or your spouse, your husband, your children, First John chapter number four is a medicine. Four. Is a medicine, okay. you know, will make you really... Uh, uh, the best way of meditation is not yoga. Yoga is a kind of selfishness here. It's the opposite of yoga. Here, you are in the spirit of love, which means you love others. You don't love yourself. Yoga teaches you how to love yourself. We don't want mm -hmm. to love ourselves. We have enough of this love in ourselves. The whole evil in this earth is because we love ourselves. Because we think about ourselves only. With Jesus, we are not following yoga. And with Jesus, we are not serving God to get versions. With Jesus, we are serving our brothers and sisters first. Because you do not need servants. He's God. He do not need our food. He do not need our sacrifice. He will not take any of it. He do not need your donation. He do not need your money. He do not need anything from you. He wants you to love each other. If we cannot love each other, we do not know Jesus yet. And this is why I say to the Muslims, we love them, we don't hate them. And that's what make Muhammad and many Muhammadan upset. Because we Christians, we insist that we love them. Even though the devil, he wants to see us killing each other. Even though the devil, he want, he loved to see Christian princes, hey, let us do jihad against the Muslims. We will not. Because we will fight if somebody want to fight us or kill us, no problem. Because this is our right to defend ourselves. Nobody has the right to take the soul of any living being unjustly. But we will not teach hate against the Muslims. And we will not be part of his hate, which is mean Muhammad and his God. Satan. No Thank course. you, Mariam. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you so much. And we pray for Amen. you. Thank you. God bless you too. Take, Take care, Sifi. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. <clears throat>
uh, somebody saying, well, we are happy first for our sister Maryam that she accepted the Christ. Actually, I, uh, you know, I was not going to take uh, her call. Uh, because, you know, usually when you talk to Muslim women, they play victims and the Muslim, they make a drama about it later. Uh, but it was a good call and I'm glad I spoke to her. Somebody is asking me, was Muhammad a rich man? What do you think? The God, he made 50 of the booty to him. <laughs> the Muslim, they claim that Muhammad was poor. Well, uh, have you ever heard of a poor person? He have four, 13 wives and hundreds of slaves. If you have a hundred cat, how much money you need to feed them? <laughs> Was Muhammad rich? <laughs> His wife Aisha, she got a hundred, a uh, hundred ounce of gold. I think I forgot the number. Uh, in her, in her, uh, uh, the like in the day of her marriage, like the what they call it, the anniversary. You know, I mean, what, what poor? What this guy poor? His wife were fighting over the gifts, and which is not gift really. It's a bribe because he loved money. He worshipped money. So what poor? Slaves. Have you ever heard of somebody he owned many slaves? Slave from war, slave from gift, you know, houses. And the guy is poor. Yeah, yeah, right. How many of us can open? Most of you maybe do not even know have money you know, even to pay for rent for one room. The guy, he have 13 wives and tons of servants in every house to serve those women. And then the Mohammedan, they say to us, he was poor. He married Khadija, very rich woman, just for the sake of her money. Uh, <clears throat> well, I don't know if I want to take a phone call. Uh, let us see, we have this person. I don't know who's he. I will take him because he's sold from Africa. Hello. Hello. Hello, hey, CP. Yes, my friend, uh, you, we are live on air. Oh, CP, thank you very much. I'm so wonderful to hear your voice. Thank you very much. My name is Sheldon. I'm calling from Nigeria, but I'm in Ghana now. Okay. How 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 is uh, uh how is life doing? How I can help you, my friend? Oh yes, sir. I'm very very fine. God bless you, brother. I All just right. want to like I'll be I've watched your video for so many times. I've been trying to reach you. I will die. I was I would like to talk to you. Thank God that I've got you. Finally, I got you online. I always follow you all the time. I followed all your videos. So I just want to have a quick question because now okay. you've given me a lot of knowledge. The place I'm staying, I'm the only Christian in the whole compound where I'm staying, the place I rented. Everybody are Muslims. So I'm the only Christians in the compound. So, okay. uh, hello, can you hear me? Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. Okay, so please, uh, so uh, I'm, I, they tried to convert me. I almost, uh, I, I almost converted. So I bought uh, the Jalabia and I bought the butter. So the, I have to take a Shahada. So I went to the mosque once. So I, I, I wanted to take a Shahada. So I saw your, like your video, I started watching your video always. So when I started watching your video all the time, all of a sudden I heard so many things like uh, the, the bat, the la, how you were saying that uh, God, la, like uh, if the a, uh, the AL is equal to Al, then which is equal to that. So how come is the name is la? So I follow all the videos. So all of a sudden I changed my mind. I said, thank God, like it, it, they were all thanks to you and all thanks to Almighty God. All of a sudden, they, like I just kind of that I did a lot of research. I did so what I just need a favor. I just want please if you can give me the link. I don't know the about the uh, because I told a lot of people here they said I'm lying because I couldn't show them the link even in Arabic. So I wanted to like translate it uh, through uh, uh, Google so that I can see it. Like uh, the one that uh, Khadija and uh, the uh, Muhammad like, like the. They deceived their father and uh, that they, that is they drunk and the one that uh, Muhammad fled with uh, uh, Z Zainab. So I want I want uh, you know if you can help me with the link, it will help a lot of people here, a lot of people. So that I want to relate the message that this is how it is here. So that like, I've been trying to get hold of you for a long time. I it's, it's an honor to talk to you, sir. Well, my friend, and um, my brother, I'm happy to have you. Actually, I just took your call just because you are African from the picture you show, it shows in Skype. Otherwise, I wasn't going to take it. 
but I'm happy that you did I not convert to Islam. And uh, we we pray to our brothers and sisters in Africa. We love them. And actually, uh, I believe the world today uh, need our brothers and sisters in Africa uh, because the white man, sadly, he is not serving God, most of them, no more. So I believe that God, he will move the nations and our African uh, family in Africa to serve and to bring people to Christ. And they will do, you know, one day white, the white man, he brought Christ to, uh, to Africa. But I believe today that African people, they should bring Christ again to the white people because they are in denial. So I believe that the Lord will bless them. And I, I believe that the Lord will use you, my friend, between your friends and your family and your nation, so you can bring more people to, uh, to, uh, to, to the truth. I will share the link in the, in the chat in, in a minute, so you can open it from there, and you can share it with your friends, all right? Or is, it, is it on, uh, uh, will you share it on Skype? I can share it with you in Skype, no problem. Thank you, but, that, but that would be better, that would be best. Yeah, and I will share it in in the in the chat. Too, no problem. Okay, sir. Sorry, sir. Right. Is it a Patreon? Which chat you normally go? To? Is it Patreon or a uh, Patok? Uh, no, I'm, I will use the chat in YouTube. YouTube. Okay. Okay. Yeah, YouTube okay, have a okay. chat. You can click in it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, oh. please, uh, one one more one more thing, uh, please. Uh, the, uh, some I just need some explanation because trust me, I've uh, I've get, I've I'm trying to order your books. I'm, I'm trying to order your books online. So that, uh, uh, but it's just a few. I just moved from Nigeria, not not that too long. So, like I said, I'm in Ghana. I'm in Nigeria also. So I'm trying to get your books online, the Sex and Allah, and uh, uh, the the discussion of Allah. So I'm trying to get. I'm trying to order uh, all those things so that at least I, I know. I hope uh, please all those uh, everything they are there, like uh, this, uh, the one that can get all those you know those old history how uh, you know. The pagans and everything. I just want to, like, you know, I just want a clarification. So that when I got those things, I know that yes, I will show, you know, I'll show my proof down. Because believe me, a lot of people they are they are, they are willing to leave, they are willing to leave from here. So in here, it, the, the deceiving is too much. So like, if if a Christian is preaching on the street now, if the if the Christian is preaching on the street, before you realize, you see, and a lot of those Christians they don't know that they've not studied this, they don't, they've not studied anything. So when they are speaking on the street. So you see some some Muslim person you just go and you know talk to the person. What are you preaching? Who is Jesus? How did you know the person can't even defend you know uh, uh, Christianity? So sometimes because of uh, your your knowledge, I've listened to you so many things. Uh, trust me, if you see, I have a lot of screenshots of your verses, uh, about uh, almost like a thousand in my phone, a lot of them. So I'm, I'm even doing some copy. I'm copying in the books, like and with the reference, everything. So I, I'm still doing. I'm still doing that. So I've watched all of your video, even the one you. You spoke with uh, Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Rohi and uh, you know a lot of and uh, that uh, doctor, you know a lot of them. I've I've watched a lot of them, so uh, I'm trying to you know I'm, I'll be more happy if you, if you can share the link, uh, especially on Skype, so I can understand it very well and I can use Google Translation. I can give them the reference and uh, uh, this uh, uh, one of uh, Allah is one of Ahad. Like I want you know because I can't speak Arabic, so I'm trying to you know use a uh, 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 translation like most of this uh, translation you know to open it so that this is this is what it means so that a lot of people you know and they lie they they even lie here even now as i'm talking to you they don't know that uh, uh alat manat and uza they don't they don't know it here that those are the three daughters of Allah. they don't even know that here so when they ask me that okay sometimes where is the reference that shows that these are the three daughters so when they when we read it, the tasfia, the about the surat and nejan that you, you you know you read. So about uh, we use the tas tasfia, the ajalal, we use I uh, uh, will use uh, ajalale. So uh, they, they, so they ask that okay, where does it say that they are the three daughters of Allah? So the, you know those things there, but they know that some of the imam knows that uh, those are the uh, courage, the idols, uh, you know. But where does it say that it's three daughters of Allah? So sometimes sometimes that one, I just want to build up a lot of you know. Stamina that when I'm going to them, showing that anything they say, like I'll just provide the proof to them. So that is that is my goal. That is my like I'm trying to you know, uh, I'm always trying to you know to to also get uh, this thing. I just want to be like you to be frank as this year. So I want like I want to you know, since then uh, a lot of people don't have the access to you. I've been giving a lot of your people uh, uh, about you, uh, about more, more than hundreds of people like. That if you can watch uh, Christian Prince, you know, follow follow him on YouTube and 
listening. I'm giving a lot of them, self, but you know, but uh, it's, 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 sorry, I'm so nervous you know, while I'm talking to you. <laughs> because My friend, so I'm, I'm glad to have you. Last time I had a seminar, I have a, yes. a group of uh, African and uh, yes. uh, many of them, they were from Nigeria and they were exposed them too. And they have a lot of, uh, and by the way, I did a seminar with them. Nobody knows I'm a Christian prince. They find out after I finished the seminar, which is funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I wanted. So I yeah. just want it. Uh, yeah. I just want, I just want to, like, I just want so many things like, uh, because I just want to understand. So like, you know, the, the proof sometimes, you see, I have search on Google how to get the task spheres, like, like a lot of the task spheres then. So the one I have is uh, is uh, all task spheres. I only have all task spheres, but some of those, some of the task spheres, uh, you know, if, if I search in Arabic, like, because I don't know Arabic, so I don't know. So a lot of like, uh, uh, sometimes to, uh, to get, uh, Ibn Katia, because Ibn Katia, uh, if I check the English, it's not in the sphere. So I'm trying to, you know, to get all those things there because a lot of people, a lot of them here, they don't know Asibab bin Zul, they don't know Ajalalin. They only know Ibn Katia, most of them. So I'm um, another well, I will, that, give, you uh, story. I I will give you the story you asked yes. for from Ibn Kathir. Here we go. I have Ibn Kathir, the book of Al Bidayah and Al Nihaya. I will send you the okay. link in, um, in the chat. Um, Thank you very much. And uh, for sure, you have to use Google, you know, okay. uh, Google yes, yes, translation. Sir. I will post okay, it too. Sir. There's actually the story is exist in many places, not only in this one. There's many versions yes. of them, but all of them, they agree that uh, uh, Khadija, she drank her father. And uh, yes. the, when he woke up, he did not recognize what's happening. He was wondering what happened. Why I'm wearing those clothes. Even she colored his beard. Which is something wow. that the Arab used to do uh, yes. when they have occasion, just to convince him that he was really uh, attending a wedding, and he, uh, you know, he did marry her to Muhammad. So even his marriage, oh. it was a fraud, you know. Even his oh, yes, his yes, 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 yes. Wow. So all these things I want to, all these things, like I said, that you you opened my eyes for so many things. Even some of the some of the Arabic, some of the Arabic that you have been saying, I've I've memorized, I've memorized some. Even in the, this this uh, surah, like if you have if the one that your right hand possesses this, uh, the one that uh, you say that for Mr. Tanto Bihi Ohuna Jiro Huna, like yeah. like those one, the one that your hair. So because of you, like I've tried to say, okay, Bihi is. So if they try to say that anyone that the prophet wishes to marry, so when they, I will let that, like sometimes I say, okay, there's no marry in Arabic, they change it. So well, I will ask them that, okay. Which one is the, what is the bihi? Like, you know, start, start, like all those things. So I kind of ask that, oh, that doesn't mean that way. So because of like, uh, you know, you've, uh, you know, you, you have, uh, you know, like I've you know, taken some things from, you know, from you. So that is why I'm trying to, uh, you know, try, trying to like, uh, you know, because the whole, like I said, the place I'm staying, I'm the only, the only Christian there because uh, I try to, you know, convert, like it's like a lot of them, they're, they're not happy. So, you know, I'm trying to, uh, uh, try to, you know, try to uh, convince them that this is how it is, how it's like, you know, how it feels. So I've taken a lot of your words, even the, the Shahada, like you know, when they say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, okay, if you say that, okay, you say, you know, when you say, okay, they say, no God but Allah, you know, then I kind of say, okay, Ila can be used as, you know, from Allah, right? You say, yes. So how can you say, okay, how can you use Ila to be like, you know, other gods? So I've, I've, you know, I've tried to, you know, to, to say so many things, uh, uh, you know, about that. So it's, it's not, it's, it's, it's not easy. So I'm still trying, I still need, I'm still, I'm still praying to God to give me more knowledge. And also I've yeah, watched all friend, your videos, just, all your Just videos. watch, just watch, try to take reference. And now I'm going yes. to hang up on you. You can watch with me. Okay, the, sir. The screen yes, I will sir. show. I send you already two links. And the second okay, one sir. is okay, for the sir. book of Musnad yes. Imam Ahmad, which is very important for the Muslims, cannot deny him. And uh, okay, I, will, I will explain to you what is it says there in Arabic, but for sure you can use a Google translation, all right? Okay, sir. Okay, yes, Thank sir. You, my friend. Good I can use you. Google translation. Thank Take you care. very much, sir. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to talk with you, sir. It's okay, an honor bye, to sir. Me, my friend. Take care. Bye -bye. Yes, sir. All right. Well, here we go. We have. <clears throat> Uh, this is the book of Musnad Ahmed. I'm going to close uh, my uh, Skype. We have enough for today. Uh, this is Musnad Ahmed. And this is volume number one. And page number three, uh, 12, as you see. Hadith number 2846. Here it says, 
uh, I'm going to use Google Translation for you so you guys can uh, can read with us uh, but remember uh, Google Translation is not perfect but better than nothing no I mean it will do the job uh, uh, let us uh, click at Google Translation <clears throat> Here we go. Again, this is muslim.islamweb.net. This is an Islam website. Have nothing to do with the Christians or Jews or Hindus. And the, the title of the, you know, uh, the topic is Musnad Ahmed, Musnad Ibn Hashim. Ibn Hashim supposedly the family of Muhammad. And then it says here, uh, Abu Kamil told us, Hamad, blah, 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 blah. He told us from the authority of blah, 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 etc. Okay. Uh, that the Messenger of Allah, uh, that a person he mentioned to Muhammad uh, uh, regarding Khadija, and his, her father, he don't like, he don't like, uh, here the translation says Yargab. Yargab is the opposite from what he wanted. It's actually a false translation. Yargab means he reject not he wanted so he went uh, uh, her father did not want to marry him to her so she made food and drink and this is alcohol and she called her father and the group of Quraysh to the meal and they ate and they drank until they got drunk it's clear in Arabic here even translation until the sakar. so after he drank they changed his clothes you know uh, and uh, in the other story, the other link I posted, it says they even they color his beard. Not only they change his clothes. Here they change his clothes. They change his, his uh, outfit uh, because simply the Arab when there is a marriage, they like anyone, you know, they they wear the best of their clothes, you know. So uh, after he drank, drunk, they took off his clothes. He's drunk. He don't know what he's having, and. Uh, they left him until he, you know, he wake up from his drunk, from being drunk. And then he said, why am I wearing this suit when he wake up? Uh, she said, oh, you do not know? You didn't marry me uh, to Muhammad. He said, I will never marry you to this man. And he is the, the orphan. They call him the orphan because actually not because he have no father, but because nobody knows who is his father. Uh, so he, he even he took his sword, he want to go and he want to fight and etc. He was so angry. But this is a story written by Muslims, imagine. That a person, the, the Muslim, they say to us that he was the most decent person between mankind. How many of you believe that this is even can be considered a marriage? Even according to Islam, this is not a marriage. Because the father should agree. Now I know that in Islam they say if she is not uh, single, she can make decision for herself, right? If she is not uh, sorry, like she previously married or she is a widow, she can make decision only in this case. Uh, but still, this is this is a fabricated uh, lifestyle. But I'm not really surprised because this is Muhammad and this is the value of this religion: garbage in, garbage out. I am not surprised. If Muhammad, either Khadija, they have a little decency, they should not accept such a way to make such a, a trick to marry. No decent man would do that. This is, this is a scam. First, it's a lie. The man did not agree. Secondly, they use what is supposedly evil, Satan, alcohol drink. Even Muhammad, he could not accomplish his mission to marry Khadija without the drink of Satan. Hmm. Isn't it the Quran says that alcohol is from Satan? And then we find that Muhammad is using alcohol to accomplish the most important mission for him to marry a rich woman. So I want to say, uh, I hope that this will uh, complete our teaching for today. I have a question like Muslims say, that Jesus came only for Israeli and the quote the verse Jesus says I came only for my lost sheep yeah but my friend he came to his lost sheep but my sheep rejected me and he said I have sheep in other place the Bible is not just a verse you take it so he take him to his sheep because they are the one who is waiting for him that is the only reason who is the one who was waiting for the coming Messiah the Hindus the Buddhas 
Torah or make? No, they don't even know what the Messiah is. So he came to the sheep because the Messiah is the one the Jews are waiting for. And to know they are waiting for him, right? So this is why he says, I came for my sheep. But he said, I have a sheep in other, I have a folk in other place. And he is the one who sent uh, the people to his, his disciple for other nations. In the same time, the Quran is a stupid book. If Jesus came only to the Jews, so why Allah, he called the book of Jesus in Jeel. In Jeel is the, is, the, is the Greek version of the word of God. So when John, he wrote, uh, and they, call, they called his book in Jeel. And then this became the book, uh, the name of all the books, right? Uh, why Muhammad is using the word, the Greek word? Why? Because he's stupid. And the same they say about, about uh, Muhammad, he came only uh, for all mankind, but the Quran says Allah sent him only for Mecca and what is around it. And the same they say for Musa, he was sent only to, uh, to, uh, uh, to the Hebrew, but we find that Allah, he sent Aaron and Musa to convince the Pharaoh to convert to Judaism or Islam. <laughs> Islam is a stupid cult. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope you did learn something good today. I hope we have a good example of how Muslims cannot answer anything. And we are happy for our sister Maryam, who accepted the Christ. And we are happy for our brother from Africa, from Nigeria. And we pray for all of those people to know the truth, and the truth will set them free. I apologize, I'm losing my voice. I wish I can stay more. You can tell, it's my, actually my throat is hurting me. Uh, we spoke for many hours yesterday, and many hours today, and etc. <clears throat> My throat is getting so dry, but I want, I want to say I'm so grateful for the Lord for he gave me opportunity to speak and to teach and to bring people to see the truth. And it's not me who bring them. It is the Lord who bring them, but he is using us. He gave us the opportunity and he gave us the mind. He gave us the heart. He gave us uh, the faith. And if love is with me which is jesus if the lord is with me which is jesus if the word of god is with me which is jesus who could be against me thank you god bless you and don't forget if you want to enjoy a good time with the bible today read first john chapter 4 and enjoy god is love love you all take care I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him, 